up everybody? My name is the String Man and you are watching the String Man Plays. Today's the big day, you guys. Resident Evil 8, the DLC has dropped. It's here. If you weren't aware, with the new DLC, mm -hmm. they've added some new additional content. A good amount. A good amount. Um, the main one being Shadows of Rose. The expansion focusing on Rose. Rose Winters. Ethan's daughter. The baby that gets kidnapped at the beginning. Kidnapped and put into pieces and then somehow put back whole and then she's living. Yeah. A lot of, yeah. Resident Evil. I just kind of skimmed over that. Resident Evil. There you go. That's it. Thanks for coming. It's Shadow of Rose. It's an expansion. Uh, it's a full like expansion to the game that follows her story. It's like a 15 or so year time jump. Cause she's like a teenager or an adult. I don't know how long how long it is. I don't know how old yeah, she no, is. Yeah, no, she looks DLC. about 16. So she about she 15. looks older. She's yeah. definitely grown. In addition, they also added um, the mercenaries' additional orders, an extra, a little bit of extra content to the mercenaries' game mode, in which there's extra playable characters, a couple of other levels, and I believe you can play as Big Lady herself, which I have no idea how that's gonna work. But you know what? Here we are. They said, "Fuck it, Big Lady." Yeah. They had a shoehorner in somewhere. And I think there's a third thing that I don't remember. Oh, third person mode. Third person mode. That is also a thing. Third person mode is the best thing they added. Honestly, it was great. I played the demo for precisely seven minutes. Was that it? No way. And it was kind of fun. It was pretty fun. I'll probably give it a go again. So Rose is coming back. She's is coming what it looks back like. to you. Standard. We'll keep it standard. Oh. Ooh. A guy. A girl. Hey, Kay. A wave. Sorry I'm late. It's okay, I'm just enjoying the day. I hope it's not about Chris wanting me to join his operation because I already told him that's not happening. All right. I Chris has already mentioned from the bat, from the bat. Squad through. No, thank you. It's not about that. Okay, so he's one of the operators. You. If I worry about you, how is, um, how are things at school? <laughs> Seriously, that's what you wanted to talk to me about? Are mean girls still hassling you? I mean, are they still treating me like a freak? <laughs> uh-uh. Look at me. You are not a freak. What if there were a way to get rid of your powers? So there's no secret. It's it's not a secret. Okay, but... Wait. Oh, damn, I think I have the music turned off. I have an idea where we can find the rest of her research. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's find it. Where is it? Uh, in there. Ew. Grass. Grody. A fragment of the Megamycete. It absorbs and stores memories from people who pass away in close proximity, including Miranda and everything she knows. Interesting. In its consciousness, you might be able to solve the mystery of the purifying crystal. Wait, so the whole thing is a flashback? I think it's mm. worth trying. What do you have to lose? Yeah, because she's connected to the big to the big fungus. I guess so. Which is why they were able to split her up into four this. parts and then put her back together no problem. I, I don't know. Try reaching out to it. See what happens. Oh! Okay. That's pretty cool. I'm still here. I used to have that chair. Okay. Okay. Uh, Look. Look. Oh, it's giving us a full tutorial. Are they expecting us to not have played the original, like, first game? Uh, I guess not. Are they really expecting people to be like, hmm, I just purchased Resident Evil 7 Gold Edition. I'm gonna go straight for the post-game DLC. We can surmise that the subjects with a strong affinity to the Mutamycete should be able to use the network to connect with the memories of the dead within the Mutamycete. The Megamycete, excuse me. There's two different things. It should be possible to verify this theory using the lab's Megamycete sample we collected 16 years ago. 16. Mm -hmm. 16 year jump. 
We just need a suitable subject with a proven connection to the mold. Our organization's policies prevent us from, from directly contacting civilians who are infected with mutamycin. It pains me to think of how much mankind could stand to benefit from this preservation and indexing of human consciousness. Perhaps there's some way of cutting through the red tape. Well, I mean, those are famous last words in every Resident Evil game. Yeah. Okay. All right. Brick tunnel. This is definitely a dream sequence. This whole thing is like a big hallucination, which I'm very invested in. I, I am curious to see what this is going to turn into. Should I go this way? Yeah. Ooh, a note. I'll be next if I'm not quick. I need to get that crystal. Ooh. Oh. So this is probably like the dungeon below the... Castle. The castle, yeah. What do we got? A shoe! Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> My question is like, what the mechanics of this deal? What was that supposed to be? No, like. Oh. Hello? No, don't do that. Mysterious noise, strange noise, mysterious unknown person on the other side. I'm gonna investigate the sound. I'm gonna get closer. Is someone there? What kind of a question is that? Dangerous here. What is? Why? Hang tight. I'm going to see if I can find a key. No! You leave them there! You know what is the very important thing to note in this DLC? This is all third person. Oh, hey, yeah! You don't re you don't remember that. This explains the addition of the third person mode. Very much an important mechanic. Which is, I mean, it's great that they added into it because it's all the same engine. I I really thoroughly enjoyed the third person Resident Evil games. I, I do still love the first person mode. I do love that still. It feels much more claustrophobic when you're playing it in first person. But I mean, that's when you're going for spooks. Look at all these paintings. It's all frames. It's all frames. What is this? This makes me think that the castle is just like a fake set. Are we in the prop room? Yes. Are we in the prop basement? Rose. Rose. <gasps> like the no! wine. There's no action. Ah! Hello. They're trying to murder you. That's my name. It's also a flower, to be honest. <laughs> hmm. Not right there. Silky! What? Ew, why'd you step in that? You didn't have to. Okay. Ew! Why was it moving the question she's pondering, honestly? Uh. What the hell is this stuff? Okay, new rule. Don't step in this shit. Don't step in the phloam. In the phloam. <laughs> What's sticky? Sm ah! Ah! All right, so we're going to have a problem here. So there is a lot of sludge everywhere. I hate it. This is going to be an issue. <laughs> All right, open her up. Open that bitch up. Oh, she got yoinked. She got yoinked real good. Well, I have an actor. Facts. Who is that? Is that Kay? Thanks. Thank you. That was a... Her cell. You look just like... What? Oh, 